What's going on guys, CC Ty Killer here, and today we're finally gonna get a start on this Kill a Cup online dynasty of mine. And right now it is full, but I'm always looking for more players for the waiting list. Um, I got a couple people that are starting to get a little inactive, so there's probably a good chance within a month or so that um, a lot of people will be on. And right now on the wish list, uh, there is like three or four people. Uh, so first play here, Josie goes 72 yards on that scamper first play of the game to get the touchdown run and start our season off very nicely um we're playing seven minute quarters if you notice that and um and on the slow game speed i'll be honest with you guys i've already played four games i just finished the fourth game today we are in week five and we'll be advancing to week six probably tomorrow um but like i said in a previous video i had um some school stuff I had to do, and I was out of town for a few days last week, so I'd, I've been a little bit behind, but in the next few weeks I hope to catch up and be on track um, about halfway through the season. Today I just wanted to go through the depth chart a little bit, and um, if I got time I want to do schemes, but I don't know if I... Uh, I only have 11 minutes, so if I can't get through it all, the first couple games of the season before I get into my conference slate um, might just be explaining stuff and not actual commentary on the games like I want it to be. Anyway, before I get started, I was going to talk a little bit about preseason stuff. I didn't really switch any of the scheduling. I just kept it all the same. Um, so first off here, we see FCS East, and we play Toledo next week, then get a bye week, then travel to Indiana, and then Arkansas State. And those are the four games I played. And then in week five, we play Vanderbilt for our SEC schedule. And the only teams that aren't being controlled by a user are Kentucky and um, Mississippi State. And I I know I play Kentucky. I don't know if I play Mississippi State offhand. I'm not very familiar with the divisions. Excuse me. All right. Let's get started real quick. Um, you probably noticed a few people on the team if you are... A Missouri fan or an SEC fan in general at the quarterback spot we got James Franklin quarterback 84 overall he is a senior and so he will be gone after the year backup quarterback and you will see backups in at halftime I switch them in at halftime so if I forget to mention that that's is that is a fact so yeah Backup quarterback you will see is Corbin Bergstresser, a redshirt sophomore. Just a couple overall points below Franklin, but in other areas he's a little below and they all add up. So that's why Franklin is the starter um, and experience additionally in that department. Next is the running backs. First up, we got the redshirt junior All-American Henry Josie. And he is an 80 or a 93 overall our best player on our team and he is a workhorse um, you see I use kind of like a split back system here I'm trying to use two backs our top two backs are pretty good um, especially in a duo when one gets tired you can just punch one in on the field and they are very good um, and so there's that and then our backup quote unquote backup uh, pretty much our second running back is Marcus Murphy redshirt junior um, an 80 overall, and you wouldn't really notice. You wouldn't really notice or think of him as that much lower than Josie, but um, he is for some reason. And you will see on the field he puts out almost pretty much the same uh, production when used equally with Josie. Um, and he will become in a few games, not to spoil anything, but he will become a major part on our team here in the next few weeks. Um, the Backup, backup <laughs> is Morgan Stewart. He's a redshirt freshman, 76 overall, and he comes in a few times a game, but doesn't really get any action behind that. Fullback, don't really use him that much. I would like to use him on like angle routes and maybe uh, just flat routes, stuff like that. But we only have one on the roster, and he is a junior, 77 overall, Brandon Colbert. Um, I'm trying to get him into the game more, but. Um, it, it is predominantly run based, but he does he will run the ball quite a lot, especially from the pistol um, split formation, whatever that is. Outside we have two main guys starting: Marcus Lucas, a senior, 88 overall, and additionally another 88 overall, Ladamian Washington, a redshirt senior, 
and these guys complement each other very well and like I said I'm using run first um, game plan so I don't use them too much but they are very capable when called upon and um, just gonna be used in pretty much any situation as a slot receiver we have Darius White a red shirt junior 86 overall and he is perfect for the slot position with uh, 93 speed and 94 acceleration um, he's also one of the top targets for Franklin when needed for the backups we have Jimmy Hunt a red shirt junior uh, 80 overall Bud Sasser a red shirt junior as well 73 overall and Wesley Leftwich a 70 overall red shirt sophomore I redshirted I think two wide receivers in the preseason so hopefully we'll get some more depth as it looks like we're gonna be um, pretty wiped out after a year or two um, based on what these guys do as far as the NFL draft which I'm pretty sure that no one will um, as we are a pretty low ranked team in the SEC but who knows going on to tight end uh, one of my crucial positions haven't really got them into the game plan so far in the first few games but at UAB when I was offensive coordinator I used my tight ends very extensively uh, when I did call on the passing game and the, the starting one is Sean Culkins a redshirt freshman 75 overall not too skilled um, but does make plays when he needed to and he is a freshman so he should be here for probably three more years and so Definitely a lot of stuff that I'm looking forward to with this kid. Um, and split sets, and split or double tight end sets. Jaleel Clark is on the other side, opposite of Culkins, redshirt senior, 68 overall. And I didn't really do too much along the lines, the offensive line and defensive line. And I don't know a whole ton about the uh, the defense. I do switch around with different guys. Um, mainly I play linebacker, so I know those guys a little bit better than the rest of the team. Um, and in the preseason, I did do like a, I went to practice and just practiced with people for about 45 minutes and just kind of felt each other, felt each uh, person out, uh, tried different wide receivers, and kind of like a little tryout position battle type deal. I was going to show it, but it was kind of just a boring ordeal. And I didn't think people would be too interested in it. But if you are, let me know. And next year, I will definitely do something like that. It's going to be fun with the new recruits coming in. Um, and the people coming off the red shirts. So I'll just go through real quick the uh, starting positions for the offensive line, then the defensive line, and then the secondary for the Missouri Tigers. At left tackle, we got Justin Britt, a red shirt senior, 85 overall left guard we got Evan Bohem I think I said that right 80 overall he's a sophomore uh, so looks to be pretty set on there uh, for center we got another sophomore he's a red shirt 77 overall Brad McNulty at right guard we have a red shirt senior Max Copeland 81 overall at right tackle we got Mitch Morse an 83 overall and he is a red shirt junior Left end on the defensive side, we got Michael Sam. He is a great impact player, a red shirt senior. On the right end, we got Coney Ely, red shirt junior. Defensive tackle Matt Mooch and Lucas Vincent, both red shirt juniors. Left outside linebacker Andrew Wilson, red shirt senior. In the middle, we got Donovan Bonner, senior red shirt as well. Uh, on the right side, we got Darvin Rouse, Ruiz. <laughs> Redshirt junior at cornerback. We got EJ Gaines a senior and Randy Ponder also a senior and For the uh, free safety. We got Braylon Webb a redshirt junior and Ian Simon at the strong safety position a redshirt sophomore and Doing the kicking for us is Andrew Baguette a redshirt sophomore 83 overall so that is a good strong point for us as well hopefully if we get into close situations, we'll have a clutch kicker to get it going. Don't have much more time left in this game. You can see it winding down. We got about just under two minutes in the fourth quarter here. Um, in our next, in my next game, I'll do a little bit of commentary, and I'll talk about. Um, I, I don't know yet either my schemes or my goals for the team this year. So I guess come back, subscribe, and just be ready for that. I'll go through this game real quick. I don't know where my things is. Uh, 
I don't know where my thing is right now, but Franklin goes 7 for 11 in the first half, 63% for 116 yards, and two rushing touchdowns, no passing touchdowns. And on the rushing side, we got Josie, who is the player of the game, 13 rushes for 140 yards, two touchdowns, a long of 72. And Marcus Murphy, 11 carries for 100 yards, two touchdowns, 46 long, and zero fumbles between them each. And Murphy is doing the kick returns. Um, for us to so look for him on that side for receiving white was our number one target this game three catches for 45 yards and a touchdown along of 22 on the defense uh, highest sacks is five by golden um, one interception for cornerback Peyton and a forced fumble from Bonner and Ray so two forced fumbles for us and a total of 10 sacks for us golden had two of those and then Three of those, I mean. But 10 sacks for the team. Great defensive line, it looks like. I know it is an FCS team, but uh, good start to the season. We get a big 59-3 win. And check back next time. I'll have it out in a few days for our game against Salido. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you made it through this whole video. And hopefully you guys are looking forward to the rest of the season as I control the Missouri Tigers. Thanks for watching.